Love it. Love it. We need to lay hands on you. I don't understand that. It's really, 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 really good. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so good. I must not have been an, a huge fan. <laughs> it's been some time, so there's that. We got a lot to get through. I have so many empties to show you and of course share with you what I feel about it, what I buy it again, the whole nine yards, all descriptions are gonna be in the description box below. So make sure you take a look at that. If anything interests you, I know that you are probably gagging over this hair. I'll also link that below. The lip is a lip bar savage on the outside and then Maybelline Poet on the inside will also link this below. In addition to a video that I did showing you my most favorite overused, loved nude, lip combos. So the first section, why don't we just start off with makeup, okay? You know that I have loved and used this KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I love this so much. So you know that I like to use things how I need it, okay? So I was using this shade Deep 098 as a contour shade. I also love the, what, is it Deep 90, 090 that I was using as a foundation? I can't remember, but this is the time now that we are in the winter where creamy foundations like this, balms, are perfect. Love a cream foundation for the cooler months. It just looks like skin, it feels great. I love this product. Definitely have purchased this several times. I still use it as one of my favorite contours. This concealer by Lawless, Conceal the Deal, full coverage concealer, which is so great. This is the shade Clove. If, again, if you've been here before, then you know that I use a certain shade under my eyes in all my highlighted areas, but then under the brow to highlight. I don't go as light. So I'm trying to recall, cause it's been a while, but I feel like Clove is the one that I was using on my face. Either way, this is a great concealer. I'm actually thinking about doing a video on my favorite most used concealers. If you wanna see that, comment and let me know. This is definitely one of them. I love a good full coverage option and that is definitely it. If you've tried that, comment and let me know. I also love and use this Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat Brow Pencil. I've gone through so many of these. Normally, I purchase the refill that goes right inside here at the top. When I'm in a rush, I be getting the whole thing. The whole kit is $25, the refill is $15. I like it. I have it on right now. I always use it. It's not too dark. The shade is natural black and I love that it's skinny. You can't see it. It's skinny. I'm sure there are other great ones in the drugstore. I just love this and when I find something I like, I just stick with it. I put this over here, but it goes with the makeup in a sense because it's an SPF sunscreen stick. You know that I have always loved this one from Shiseido because it makes applying sunscreen easy. Not only is it clear, it's a chemical sunscreen. I have not seen any issues with using a chemical sunscreen. Some of you might prefer a physical one. Go with that. Those will give you a white cast. I just love to go chemical because I ain't got the time. And this is just, it just makes it easy. You just rub it all over the face. Come on, before you do your makeup, after you do your skincare, this is the last step. I purchased this so many times. I just love it. In my suitcase, perfect, makes life easy. So I love a good double cleanse. That means you're washing your face twice. The first step to washing your face, if you wanna do this right, you can do whatever you wanna do. But if you wanna know what I do, this is what I do. I double cleanse. So the first step is to use a cleansing balm. So some cleansing balms are runny, like the Dermalogica one that I do love. So that'll be more of a liquid. Rub it onto your hands, rub it onto your face. Dry hands, dry face. So with your makeup on or with just your skincare SPF on, don't wet your hands, don't wet your face. Rub it in, because you're breaking everything down. It'll feel messy, but I like doing it in the shower so that it's not a big deal if it is messy because you're gonna rinse it all off. Then you go in with your cleanser. And I say that because I wanna differentiate the cleansing balm from the cleanser. You need to use both if you wanna do it how I do it and how most people these days who are skin enthusiasts do it, okay? This is Edom Dew Dream Cleansing Balm. This one is more of a cream form. It will break down and feel more slip-like once it's rubbed onto the hands. I enjoyed it. Then you use your cleanser. So Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. We all know this to be gentle. Dermatologists always recommend this cleanser. I like this one, gentle on the face for sure. And then I also have run through, I feel like it's been two of these, Thayer's pH Balancing Daily Cleansers. It's got sodium hyaluronate and 5% filet of aloe vera. This was very gentle too. This was really good and so was this. Great gentle cleanser options. It's gonna cleanse your face, but also not strip it dry. Another cleansing balm from Holy Frog. This was sent to me. Vitamin F cleansing balm. Did I not like this? I didn't finish it. I must not have been an, a huge fan. <laughs> 
it's been some time, so there's that. I am right now using the Holy Frog Milky Face Wash. Again, if something is a milky face wash, it's gentle. So that's why you can't go into your face with makeup with these cleansers because you're gonna be like, what? It's not even doing anything. That's where the cleansing balm comes into play because that breaks it all down first, rinse it off, and then use your actual cleanser. This e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream was an experience. I enjoyed using it. It's got broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen in it. It's completely empty. I love to do sunscreens 30 and above, right? But there's sometimes products that have sunscreen SPF 50, 15 in it and you know, it is what it is, but never, ever, ever just bank on your foundation being the sunscreen protection that you need. It would be great if this had a higher SPF in it, hence why I love the Shiseido one because it has SPF 50. Now, Innisfree, this is their daily UV defense sunscreen. It has broad spectrum SPF 36 in it. I don't know how they came up with 36, okay? But this is a water-based sunscreen with sunflower seed oil and this is a chemical sunscreen. It has Ava Benzone in it. It melts it into my skin beautifully. I enjoyed using it. Don't know why it's 36. Of course, I do prefer a 50, but this worked really nicely and it's affordable as well. This glow recipe one is still full. I used this one time, did not like it. This is a physical sunscreen. It's a sunscreen lotion. It has SPF 50 in it, so it's great. It left me with a white cast. It wasn't egregious, but it was enough where I was like, I don't like this. Now, granted, when I wore this, it was a makeup day. So my makeup went over it. It was fine, but if I don't have to, I don't want to. You see, I do of course like to show you options in case you don't like chemical sunscreens. This is an option for you. Either way, make sure you're wearing your sunscreen. Excuse me, that is a must. That's not something you should be skipping. Oh my gosh. Okay, some more skincare. We have Josie Marin Argan Bright Skin Vitamin C Serum. It's a dark spa eraser. Okay, I have made my way through this. You do want to make sure you are wearing a vitamin C. I have been in love with this Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So cheap, very high hydrating for the skin, love to use this. Then you can go in with your vitamin C of your choice because this is going to help even out dark spots. Great in combination with your SPF to help with anti-aging, keeping the skin plump, juicy. Again, all links are below if you wanna explore any of these to purchase or just for consideration. Now, this is the Dermalogica Circular Hydration Serum for long lasting hydration. Again, a hydrating option. This is definitely a more luxury option gonna cost you some more. Still great to use. I burned through this as well. I have burned through this Agave and Nighttime Lip Therapy Lip Balm. Listen, we go through lip balms in this house like water because I don't like anything being dry. I've got dry skin and I dehydrated skin. I just cannot stand anything except hydration. So the lip balms are overflowing that I did enjoy and that is done. I've burned through time and time again these LMS Peptide 4 Plumping Pillow Facial Hydrate sleep mask. This is really good and can be used by itself or of course on top of a serum and then put this on overnight. It feels like a gel and this is really good. I did enjoy that. This is the Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA and AHA Salicylic Serum. Let me explain. Whenever you see BHA and or AHA, these are exfoliating products. These are products that you want to use on your skin when it is not sensitive and you want to use depending on your skin, once or twice a week. So this is something that's great to use in either the morning or the nighttime. It has a BHA in it, which penetrates the deeper layer of the skin to clear out the bacteria, and of course, to essentially eat away at the dead skin. So you wanna make sure, of course, no matter what, whether or not you're using a BHA, you wanna make sure you're wearing an SPF. But when you are using a BHA, you need to be wearing an SPF. AHA is less irritating. It's a more gentle way to exfoliate over time. You should see smoother skin, honey. Mm -hmm. Another cleansing balm that I have finished is this one by Bad Habit. It's purple. I got it from Target. I wouldn't call it my favorite because it's a little clumpy. And then when rubbing it onto my hands, it still feels clumpy. So it's annoying, right? I go through so many of these products, so I want it to be easy to use. It was just okay. If you've used this, comment and let me know. I remember when I first started a skincare routine, it was with Mario Badescu. It's like, okay, this is their facial spray with aloe, adaptogens, and coconut water. It's okay to use, but I wouldn't say that this is extremely high hydrating. It's just like, okay, I think it's good if you're beginning using skincare, this would be sprayed on right out of the shower or right after washing the face to avoid it from getting dry. So this can also be used right now, like on my makeup, if I wanted to soften things up, hydrate it, but you know, it's just okay. 
Let me know if you still use Mario Badescu. If so, what product? It's okay, I think that it's more beginner, you know? So this is the Wishful Eye Lift and Contour 1% Bakuchiol and Peptide Serum that I did use. I like the tip, which some beauty brands do have for their eye products because this always is cold. So you, of course, can put your eye cream in a fridge to keep it cold, but because of this tip, it's just always cold. So when it goes onto the eye, it does feel good. And I did enjoy using this. I love using an eye cream. It's really important. That's not an area that we need to be skipping. That's an area that we definitely need to be paying attention to. So I mentioned Dermalogica earlier, and one of the products that I love from them is this Daily Microfoliant. It is a great way to exfoliate the skin. This is apparently gentle enough for you to use on the daily, but of course you need to try it out and see how your skin responds. Do this every day or several times a week. You are going to see a difference in your skin. This stuff is good. It is pricey, it is good. There is a small container, I don't have it, but you could purchase that. Use a little bit of it. It might feel like it's not enough. It works, it is amazing. It has salicylic acid in it, penetrates the deeper layer of the skin, clears out acne causing bacteria. It, this somehow polishes the skin. It, it feels like a polish, okay? If you've tried this, comment and let me know. I got two other cleansers that I've used. Totally forgot I had more cleansers in the facial skincare stash. This is from Elf Cosmetics. It's your pure skin cleanser with oat milk, alantoin, and niacinamide. Gentle option, great and affordable. And this one is from The Outset. I enjoyed using this a lot. This is their Gentle Micellar Antioxidant Cleanser. This has a gel feel to it. It is just so interesting. It is definitely soothing. It definitely left my skin feeling cleansed. I like how it foamed a little bit. This is just good, okay? If you've tried anything from The Outset, comment and let me know. And then another skincare product is this Kate Somerville Hydrocate Recharging Serum. This I used a long time ago, so I can't lie to you. I don't recall very much of it, but you know me, I love a good serum. So this is an option as well. All links are below, again, in case you wanna explore any of these items. Oh my goodness, let's switch gears and talk for a second about hair, okay? Amika, have you heard of Amika? I have tried only a few items from them and this was a dream, it's called Dream Routine. This is their Overnight Hydration Serum. It comes in a glass, so nice and hefty there. And if I recall correctly, this smells good. It has a light scent to it, like fresh scent. So I was putting this on at night, no need to rinse, great option. I don't know if this is black owned, I can't remember, but it is good for hydration. Curly hair friendly for she. Easy. Let me know if you've tried anything from Amika. Pattern Beauty, honey. Tracy Ellis Ross is doing something for the kid. You know that on IG, I did do a campaign activation with them. I like this stuff a lot. The Pattern Beauty Detangling Nectar is so good. It gives such an easy slip to the hair. I don't understand why I have not been detangling. I like need a spanking. It's a problem. So when I used this for the first time, I was like, what? I mean, I used almost the whole thing. I've used this twice. That's how much product I used because I was enjoying it. Do I need that much? I don't know. This is just so stinking good. I have it in my Sephora cart to repurchase because it is just that freaking good. This is the heavy conditioner, deeply conditioned and nourished. This stuff is good. I squeezed this down to the ground. Good, good stuff. I cannot talk about it enough. Pattern Beauty at Sephora or at Target or wherever else. If you've tried Pattern Beauty, please comment and let me know which what you have tried and how you feel about it. Madam CJ Walker sent me some stuff and I did enjoy it. This is the Strengthen and Restore Conditioner, okay? Left my hair feeling good. I've done a few reels and IG stories with this product. Enjoyed it. You know me, I go through a lot of conditioners. And this is the Instant Repair Deep Conditioner. Every now and then I will deep condition because I know that I'm supposed to, mm -hmm. you know. Moroccan Oil Treatment. This was really great as well. I was using this in the shower after my co-washes or after my washes at the very end. A little goes a long way. Leaves the hair with a great shine, a nice slip. This is really great. The hydration is important to me. So I did enjoy that Moroccan oil product. And Briogeo sent me this cute teddy bear. This was really nice. Apple Honey Deep Conditioning Mask. I just finished this the other day. Smells so delicious. Leaves the hair with such a slip. I mean, a little of this goes a long way and it was really, 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 really good. Let's go over to the body, okay? So I blow through these Dove Restoring Body Washes like water, okay? I love the coconut and cocoa butters one. It smells amazing. Doesn't make my skin feel stripped at all. Oh. 
I'm reminded, yes, smells amazing. If you love Dove and you've used this scented one, let me know. I just love this. You know I love me a good body conditioner, okay? And I've gone through too many of these. In fact, I have these Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioners on subscribe and save through Amazon. I blow through these, okay? We use these, we love them. My God, this is good. I get out of the shower feeling very nourished. If you don't like to be nourished in that way, you might think that this feels nasty because when I dry myself off, I feel like there's something on my skin. And then when I lotion on top, I feel like I'm even doing too much, right? Like I even feel like, do I even need all this? Do I wanna use all this? Should I just spot lotion? You know what I'm saying? This alone is so good. In this cooler weather, you need to be using a rinse off body conditioner. It's good stuff, yo. Oh, wait a minute. Did I talk about this yet? Who? The Taraji P. Henson body polish, baby buffed. I did enjoy this. I did not like how it felt like it was hard to get it out of the component, out of this container. It's got lactic acid in this, so AHA, so it is an exfoliating product, not just physical, but chemical as well. What was it about this? I don't know. It's the grains that felt chunky and it felt like it was rinsing off of my hands too quickly. It wasn't staying when I would rub it on, the, the grains were too chunky. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So I didn't enjoy this, but I have used their Energizing Gel Body Cleanser. This is Mandarin Ginger. I wasn't a huge fan of the scent. It was nice to use. I'm not in love. It doesn't take the place of my Dove, but you know, I used this as well. This is the Bath & Body Works Cozy Aromatherapy Cinnamon and Sandalwood Body Wash. And it can also be used as a foam bath. I am in love with sandalwood. And so this with cinnamon made me so happy to use, so much so I overused it every single time. So it finished so quickly. I love sandalwood. If you love sandalwood, comment and let me know. I got this Nivea cocoa butter a long time ago and I finally finished it. It was okay. You know, when these companies sometimes will say that this is gonna give you 48 hour intense moisture and radiant skin like lies. I mean, it was good. I don't know that it was amazing. It was good. It was nice. It wasn't spectacular. Lumi, honey, you know I've talked your ear off about Lumi, okay? I don't know what else to tell you. Unscented deodorant stick. Put this in your armpits in all of your folded areas. That means the groin, okay? And under them titties. Wherever you end up sweating because the sweat interacts with the natural bacteria that is on our bodies and then it could cause odor. Lumi is going to take care of that. In addition, I also have the first A Beauty ingrown hair bump pads. It's got salicylic acid in it, which is a BHA, which is going to clear out the acne causing bacteria on the skin. And I use it in the pits, the groin, so the side and side. I never said to use it inside your vaginal canal, okay? Once the skin dries or pat dry, yeah. Then go ahead and use Lumi, honey. It's a double dose. Okay, it's the double dose of it all. You feel me? It can be July in Houston. I'll sweat. Sweating is natural. Hello? Toxins gotta come out somehow. But it doesn't mean that the sweat has to also mean odor. You can sweat without odor. You need these two, okay? We have this Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Ultra Hydrating Body Butter. I worked with Josie Marin, what, a year or maybe two ago? Love this product. I don't know what happened. It was in my closet for a long time. I don't know if it was hot in there or what, but the whippedness of it melted so that it became a liquid, like a lotion. It was strange. I still enjoyed it, but I missed how it was whipped. I don't know what happened. My closet is not hot, so. I don't know, cause I have creams in there that did not melt. This one did, so I don't know if it was old or what, baby, but this is still really good. This is the unscented one. I didn't like the peach one, so I stick with the unscented. Really, really good option for a body butter. This is the K-Skin Deep Water Hydrating Soothing Body Cream. I did not like this. It leaves a nice shine to the skin, which we already discussed. I like a shine. I like to look shiny. I like my brown skin to be shiny. Brown skin looks beautiful when it shines. The issue with this is that when I wore this and I was out at the soccer field, for a soccer game and I crossed my legs and because I have thick legs, I interchange the legs every few minutes. <laughs> if you know, you know. And as I was doing that, I noticed pilling on my legs. So crumbles of white and I'm like, what? And when I blend it, it goes away, but it was the lotion that was pilling up on my legs. Now one might think that I used too much of the product, but why would there ever be such a thing as using too much of a cream or a lotion? I should be able to use as much as I want and not get the pilling. For instance, I use a lot of Vaseline sometimes 
sometimes. I don't get pilling. I use a lot of all of this stuff sometimes and don't get pilling. So this annoyed me. It's not fully done. I could not finish it. It it definitely is deeply moisturizing, but I didn't like that. So that was a problem for me, girl. We all love a good cocoa butter, okay? Palmer's is a household name. The top is off because you know what it is when it comes time to stop banging the thing out of the container, okay? So there's no top on this. We love a good Palmer's, honey. I actually just bought a jumbo size of it yesterday at Walmart because I just love a good Palmer's. I have like Josie Marion and Sal Gennaro and whatever else, but sometimes you just want to go back to the old school and do a little Palmer's. It is good. It isn't the most hydrating, but it has a nice scent to it. It's just old school. I just love it. It just feels good. Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. This one is good for the evening time when I don't want to be shiny. I don't want there to be a lot of residue left over on my skin, but did I enjoy this? No. It's fragrance free, good for sensitive and dry skin. It does instantly quench the skin, but it just wasn't enough for me. You know, it absorbs really fast. Oh, another aromatherapy stress relief body wash. This is eucalyptus and spearmint. Also quite the experience. Oh my God, Wrigley's, I don't chew gum. Ring, Wrigley's, Wrigley's gum, whatever that is. It literally smells just like that. This is good. I do, however, enjoy sandalwood more. Woo, love it, love it. Let's talk about dental hygiene, honey. I have talked also at length about these smart mouth mouth washes. I've got three of them, but this is not even all of it. I've gone through several of these. It's just amazing. You got two different chambers, the zinc activated rinse, and it's got 24 hour bad breath prevention. And you gotta use it morning and evening. This stuff is the truth, honey. Listerine and all the other ones ain't gonna work Theraflu. Is it Theraflu? Therabreath? Mm -mm. It ain't got nothing on this. This is some good stuff. The two mix them together, it does something. Love that because it's really, 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 really good. This is gonna take care of you, I guarantee you. But also don't skip the, the flossing and the brushing. Don't just expect one thing to do all for you. No, you need to also be pulling your weight. Oh. And then every day and night, which I know my teeth are strong, be careful. You might have sense to teeth. This might not be good for you again. Think about your body, okay? But I love to use this Colgate Optic White Advanced Whitening Toothpaste. This stuff works. It is holding me over in between this long stretch of not whitening. I have not whitened in maybe a year. Could be over that. It's good and I drink coffee every day. In fact, ice coffee right here. Whitening toothpaste, yes, it's a must. We're almost there, okay? This is the Sal Gennaro Tan Lines Solar Tuberose Spray Perfume Mist. This is so stinking good. I love me some tuberose. Although I love a good eau de parfum, maybe an eau de toilette, there's still place for a body spray. I have several of these, so I spray these in my closet after my lotion just to just to zhuzh it up a little bit, and then I'll go spray on my fragrance. You know, the eau de parfum will last me longer, but this stuff is good, and I recently realized that these are also hair mists. I mean. This is empty, but you can spray this stuff on your hair too. Who wants to have smelly hair? Oh my God, and can you believe that I finished this fragrance from Prada? I've had this for ages, okay? I would not repurpose. It gives very juvenile, and it just wasn't a humongous fave. I have so many faves now, but Prada Candy, if you've used this, love this, like it, comment, and let me know. This just reminds me of my youth. I've had this for a long time and have finally finished it. I mean, I probably had this like five, six years, okay? And another body fragrance, it's not in here, but I am using it. I First of all, I love Nest New York perfume oils. This is the Indian Jasmine one. I've used several of these in the past. Right now, I am loving sandalwood. What's it called? Sandalwood something, something. I'll link it below. Love to put that on as a last step. It gives a nice sheen. It smells good. It's highly concentrated. A great way to get a fragrance on the body. It will last you a long time. I've done this at night before. And in the middle of the night, you just smell your skin. It's just amazing. Oh my God, last category. We've been here for a long time. If you have been watching the whole way through, comment and let me know, honey. I'm gonna I'm do my best. I'm gonna send you something, okay? I'm gonna pick randomly, okay? Now we are in the candles section. I have quite a few candles that I go through. I burn several candles a day. This is not every single one of them. These are just the ones that I remember to keep around, okay? This one is from a friend of mine, black owned brand. Herbalux Apothecary Co. It's hand poured, all natural. This is the scent Relax. It has lavender and Lang Lang essential oil. 
oils. It's got the wicks in it that make the crackling fireplace sound and it smells really, really good. So black owned brand, loved that. Then we have replica matcha meditation. Now, if you're following me on IG stories, if you're not already, make sure you're following me on all socials, then you already know that I have the fragrance to this as well. I enjoy that in the room and or on linens, but not on the body. It is really, really good. This candle was good, but I have to say, I didn't like the way that it burns. There's a way that wicks and waxes burn down. I'm not, what's the name of it when you're a candle maker? I can't think of the name. I'm not that, right? But I just know from burning so many candles day in and day out that they just burn differently. This is Forever Mood Caked Up. Oh my God. Caked Up makes me feel the way that the cinnamon sandalwood body, Bath and Body Works fragrance makes me feel. Caked Up is just nutty, creamy. This is in my cart to repurchase. This scent makes me so happy. I don't have anything else to say about it. Forever Mood is doing the daggone thing. I love a good Forever Mood candle. So clearly I have several of these. Soft Life, let me smell it again and tell you. Some of these were very faint, so great for a small room, not for the living room area. Soft Life is nice, it's not my fave. It's giving nutty cinnamon like baked goods kind of a thing. This was okay. This is Spice of Life, part of the, the African collection, I forget the name of it. Spice of Life is giving almost soap, orange, citrus, good. Like, you know, in the bathroom, fresh in a way. Definitely liked this. And then we have Leaf Me Be. This green line with all the greens, it was giving very airy, fresh, earthy in a way and very, very much so needed to be burned in a small room. These scents did not travel the green line, you know, but still love me a good forever mood candle. And then I have the small set, again, linking all these below for your consideration if you're interested. Love these, love a good caked up matcha business. So strong and so mighty. Like this was more strong and mighty than the replica one, you see? Like really, really good. This little thing, oh, come on, honey. And then left on red, this is nice too. Yeah, I like left on red. I like caked up a lot better, but left on red is really good. So these little sets with the mini votive candles, those are really good, the sets to give us gifts. Love it. It comes in the four pack, the box is nice and sturdy and just quality, a great option to gift up. Literally just wrap it and give it away or put it in a gift bag and give it away. Love that, okay? And then this huge candle from Nest New York. Nest hooks it up, honey, first of all, so thank you. This is Autumn Plum. I blew through this. The wax is so luxurious. You see what I mean? Like it just, bl it, it burns differently. The wax feels like a cream, okay? So it just tells you that your, your money is well spent. This is a great scent. It is a woody scent, Autumn Plum. Plum. It is sweet. It is just, it's a mix. It's just great, man. It reminds me of mahogany teak wood in the, in the sense that it can be considered a little masculine. I love that. Like I love sandalwood, like I told you. So it's that, but sweet, just so stinking good, man. I burned this for days on end. I love a good nest candle. And then I have another nest candle and these go a long way too. Even though this is a one wick, it definitely projects in the house. This is pumpkin chai. Loved this as well. The glasses are always so nice my mom she's so funny she'd be like let's she like let's wash it out and reuse the glass i'm like mom please but you know she's this is a Ghana mom she's like let's just use everything for something else because she just loves the design of the glasses so good such great options to give as gifts or to buy for yourself i love me a good nest candle okay and last but not least is from tabraji p henson i didn't like this candle let me show you what i mean by when it burns nicely versus burning like who knows what so this is the nest candle and see how it has burned not too much on the side it just has gone down, right? It won't hold a light anymore. Look at how this one burned. Can you tell? I mean, you've got some wick still up top here. It just did not burn in a clean way. It just is giving very cheap. You got a lot of wax all around the side. So it almost tells me that it needed another wick in it to, for it to burn well, but it didn't burn well and I could barely smell it. So I didn't like this. I didn't like this at all. Anyway, I'm glad that you watched this whole video. If you did, stick around and watch one or two more. I'll link it here for you. And as always, I'm glad you're here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.